Previously, we discussed mud fossils and transition metals. Let's continue with how Roger has explained in several of his videos how biological matter transitions into stone naturally and how gigantic structures in nature such as mountains and quote unquote man-made structures were originally alive using objective reasoning. So of course we discussed transitional uh, metals before but let me get a, give you another definition for some people that maybe want a more intrinsic um, understanding of how they work and metals that are unstable and demonstrate what would be considered unstable behavior and transition on the periodic table between S block and P block is what makes it by definition a transitional metal so it's easy to see in a lot of what Roger's showing as shown in this next slide of how there's evidence of what would appear to be a transitional state of the mud itself and the arteries in what would have originally been organic matter of uh, large organisms such as you know these dragons in these next slides so according to Mud Fossil University, this is Quetzalcoatl, and you can see here I'm sitting right below his large chest that's, you know, just taking up the entire eastern seaboard of the United States, and uh, his feathery wings, uh, as described in Mud Fossil University. And then probably one of my personal favorites, and anybody who's ever been, you know, a fan favorite of a Godzilla, because what's better than Godzilla with a giant scorpion tail, you know, that's the entire side of, uh, you know, Alaska as we know it. It's uh, just interesting to look at these things with uh, your mind's eye open, especially in the consideration of how things, when they die, are known to release their bowels, such as, you know, the ejecta coming out of the tip of his tail there. So uh, it might seem absolutely ridiculous at first, but thinking about this in the context of how transition metals work and the coloration within the quote-unquote landscape, it's easy to objectively reason uh, what's being presented in Mud Fossil University. And of course, in how you can see, you know, in the Colossus where there was previously uh, an injury of some sort, you know, whether it was what would be considered a Gorgon weapon or a fishies or something else. Uh, there's obvious evidence within the topography that it was organic matter originally. So uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and uh, see you guys in the next video.